Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are talking all about postpartum, the wonderful fourth trimester when your body is going back to normal. <laughs> if you didn't know, this is my second baby. So I have a lot better understanding of what's getting ready to come. And I feel like I have prepared much, much better than I have, than I did the first time around. In this video, we are covering everything from medical stuff to undergarments to nursing to fashion and everything in between. If you don't know me, my name is Allie. I have a two-year-old daughter named Everly, married to my childhood sweetheart, and baby boy is due June 5th. So we are almost there. I am just about 36 weeks pregnant, so just about nine months pregnant. And I am really in that mode of just preparing and not only for baby, but also for myself. There is a lot that goes down when you have a baby. So let's just go ahead and jump into this video. I am first going to say that um, when it comes to like medical stuff, I personally didn't purchase a whole lot in this area because when I gave birth to my daughter, the hospital provided so much of that. And I'm pretty sure most hospitals do. That is something I would talk about at your appointment is what they will provide so that you know what not to get because it's would kind of suck if you got all that stuff and you purchased it. But I will go ahead and tell you guys I made a list of everything that you will need but most hospitals will provide this and my hospital does. So you will need tux definitely tux. Those make such a difference when it comes to soothing down there. You'll need Dermaplast. That is a huge one. It's like a numbing spray. It makes all the difference in the world when it comes to stitches and just all that fun stuff. You'll need pads, obviously. Also, you'll need a peri bottle. So after you give birth, you're most likely going to have stitches and you are not supposed to wipe down there when you go to the bathroom you have to use a peri bottle and squirt down there to get yourself clean because wiping can just mess up the stitches so that is everything that the hospital most likely will provide and if yours don't those are things that i highly recommend getting for yourself they are a must-have. Something that I did purchase when it comes to the medical area that I didn't have last time and I really wanted to try it this time are these maxi pads right here. These are from Freedom Mom and they are the instant ice maxi pads and these just sound so wonderful. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. I just heard such great things about this. Something else that your hospital will mostly provide for you, my hospital did, is stool softeners. You know, going is a whole different story after you have given birth. Thankfully, I didn't tear too much last time, so I didn't have too much of a problem with it last time around. Don't know how it's going to be this time around, but stool softeners make such a huge difference for when it's time to go. <laughs> Something else I recommend is to continue to take your prenatals. Yes, your baby is now out, but if you are planning to nurse, um, these are really important to help keep your milk supply up and just to make sure that you are still getting all the nutrients you need as well. So I highly recommend, even if you're not planning on nursing, I still highly recommend taking your prenatals because there's just, lots of things that are coming out and it's just good to know you're still getting in some vitamins. I know a lot of women swear by like nipple creams and things like that. I did not get that last round with my daughter. Um, honestly, I didn't really have too much of a hard time in that area, but it really all depends on your baby. It also depends on when your baby's born. If your baby's early, sometimes they have a harder time latching on and that can end in very bruised and sore nipples. But something that I know does help in that area is also just rubbing in your breast milk on your boobs. That kind of acts as a nipple cream in itself. That's actually what my doctor told me to do. So I didn't get any thing like that but what I did get this time is 
is this new Hakka cup. I loved my Hakka cup when I had Everly. If you guys don't know what a Hakka cup, it's something that just sticks onto the opposite boob and catches the letdown and catches the excess milk. So you are able to save that and also it doesn't like get all over you because if you don't know, when you are nursing or if you're not nursing, your boobs are still going to produce milk. So you are going to have milk all over you all the time. That's something I did not know was gonna happen the first time around. And now I'm gonna be so much more prepared. But I got these Hakka cups and these ones actually go inside your bra. And so you are able, because your boobs are gonna be just leaking all the time, especially if you are nursing. These are going to be so awesome because they actually go in your bra and you are able to save that milk and store it. So excited to try these. But then also these are just for my last pregnancy. Oops. But I also really highly recommend getting nursing pads. I never use the disposable ones. I always just use the washable ones. I feel like they just make more sense, you know, and they're also more absorbent and just better for the environment in general. So these ones are from Amazon, um, very inexpensive and they work great. So, so now I'll move on to like undergarments and things like that. So continuing on talking about breast milk after you have a baby, as I said before, you are just going to be <laughs> leaking all over the place. And that doesn't make an exception for at night. Um, you are going to want to sleep with a bra on at night and pads. Otherwise, you're going to wake up in the morning and just be covered in milk. So something I've done different this time around is getting more comfortable bras to sleep in, nursing bras. I did not do that in my last pregnancy and I totally regret it. So I got a few different options. This one was actually from Amazon and... Um, it's just really pretty color, but it just looked really super comfortable to sleep in. Also super easy to nurse in as well because you are going to be waking up in the night to nurse your baby. So if you are planning on nursing. So I got that one. And then I also have this option as well. This one's just a little bit different instead of having like that where you're able to do it right here. It just has these snaps right up the top at right here. So I don't know which one I'm gonna like better considering my last pregnancy. I didn't really get a whole lot of nursing bras. I had like one and I slept in regular bras. I don't know why the heck I did that because I was so uncomfortable. <laughs> so this time around I am doing that completely different. So when it comes to underwear, I am more of a pads girl. I know some people like to wear diapers I actually have never tried that, but I never had an issue with the pad, so I'm just gonna keep doing that. But I did just find these right here, and these look just so amazing. Um, they, I don't know what brand they're from. Oh, Wonder Wear is the brand, and I got a size medium. And these also are tummy control, so they go high over your belly and that's something that you're gonna want to have right after a baby because everything is just so loosey-goosey and blah. <laughs> so it's gonna be nice to wear these and just have something that's not super tight, but something that's making me feel secure. I really like that in my first pregnancy. Some women don't. Some women like to be totally free and have nothing on their belly and that's totally fine too it's just what you prefer but i really like to have that extra support and so these look awesome they just feel so comfortable and just stretchy and big enough for a lovely pad so and they came this came in three different colors all neutrals though um and then the this underwear right here um, I got these from Amazon. They are from my last pregnancy and they also worked great. This is more of like a spandex material and then this one's more cotton. Um, so we'll just see which one I prefer, but these didn't really give me any support when it comes to like my belly area or anything, but they were just nice and big enough for pads. So 
That's everything for undergarments. Now I'm gonna move on to fashion. Fashion is probably the biggest category when it comes to what I have purchased because this is something that I did not purchase last time around. With my first daughter, I was thinking that I could just wear my maternity clothes until I was back to my pre-baby clothes and that is not the case at all. So I went out and bought some nice, comfy, cute clothes that I can feel somewhat like myself in. And most of this stuff is from Ross or TJ Maxx. Um, so this is more of giving you guys kind of like inspiration of what to get yourself. I'll do my best to link things down below, but I don't know if I'll be able to find everything. The first thing I got are these pants right here. These are in a size large, um, but they just, they were only $10 at TJ Maxx and they just looked so comfy and cute. Like I just can imagine myself wearing these kind of high waisted and tying a little shirt as a knot. Um, but these, and they're just, oh, you can just tell how stretchy they are. I'll just be able to move and have a nice pad under there and just feel somewhat like myself, but still just so comfy. And then I got a few different joggers. I have this pair right here and I just love the color of this one and it's a very soft material and it's also nice and thin because I do live in Texas and it's like 80 degrees outside right now so I didn't want anything that's going to make me too hot um, but I definitely wanted some good sweats that I can wear because I mean for honestly I'm going to be in the house pretty much 24 7 so I have AC and then these ones I think I'll probably take these ones to the hospital with me but these oh my gosh this material right here just feels like butter it is so so soft and I think these this is from the brand Jacqueline Intimates and this one is from the brand Ocean Drive which I know I see a lot of Ocean Drive at TJ Maxx but these again I think they're just so cute I love the print of them and I've already tried them on they fit me now so I know that they'll fit me postpartum these ones are a medium and I'm pretty sure these are a large the last thing in the pants department are these right here. These are actually maternity, but they looked like they'd be really nice for postpartum too. They are, they kind of look like joggers, but they're more of a legging material, I would say, but they just feel super comfy. And if I want something to kind of form to my body a little bit, I'll go for this option because I actually did like that with my daughter. I just like to feel secure. So I feel like these are gonna be a really good option for that as well. And since they are maternity, I'm sure they'll fit me postpartum too. When it comes to tops, I did get a couple nursing tops. I did not do this last round with my daughter again. I was so oblivious to everything when it came to when I had my daughter, but I did get some nursing tank tops this time. This is from the brand Feathers Maternity. And again, it's just like that really soft, buttery material. And it has the snaps at the top. And this is like a one size fits all, but so we'll see how that goes. I'm not really used to wearing maternity tops, but, or nursing tops. And then this one actually is just a maternity tank top, but it's like that really stretchy material. So I don't think I'll have a problem with just pulling this down under my boob, you know? And this is just a black one. And then when it comes to um, like regular tops, I really highly recommend getting like oversized t-shirts. I honestly love wearing oversized t-shirts just generally. I think they're really cute, especially for postpartum. This one is a graphic tee that I found I think at TJ Maxx, I can't remember exactly, but it's like a Dragon Ball Z shirt, but it fits me now, so I know it's gonna fit me postpartum. And then this one right here, this one is actually from Aerie, and it's in an extra large, and this I'll probably bring with me to the hospital, but this one I can wear now as well, so I know it's gonna fit me after, but I love this one, it is so lightweight and just, so soft and comfy love that one so the next thing that i got if 
we do go out um, and I want to be a little more cute is this dress right here and I just thought this dress would be so perfect because of the neckline it just looks like something that'd be so easy to nurse in and it's just nice and flowy at the bottom and this color just looks really really pretty and it was only $15 and then also, honestly, the outfit that I'm wearing right now, I'll probably wear this mater or I'll probably wear this postpartum as well. It's just a jumpsuit and it's just very oversized and comfy. And then I do have a bralette under it, which bralettes are very nice to have too because they're nice and comfy and they're very easy to nurse in. This is just like a nursing outfit right here. <laughs> The next thing that you will want is a good pair of slippers. You're just gonna be around the house a lot and a good pair of slippers is always a must, I think. And then also, you're gonna want a nice robe. This I will also bring to the hospital with me. This is kind of funny, it honestly like, matches my bed, but I thought this one was so pretty. Also, to take some pictures in at the hospital, I plan to do that as well, but it's always nice to have just a robe to put on and feel comfy and sometimes you just kind of want to cover up also you're gonna want a good water bottle something that's gonna keep your drinks nice and cold because you are going to be so so thirsty especially if you are nursing this one I found at Target and it just has this that pops up so it's super easy and yeah and also something that I'm going to do differently this round is I have this carrier right here and this is going to go right beside my bedside. I actually already have it chilling over there. This is not only going to hold baby stuff like I'm going to keep probably um, diapers and wipes and binkies and birth cloths and things like that but also I'm going to be keeping things for myself as well like snacks, my water bottle, extra nursing pads, um, just things like that because in the middle of the night when you're nursing a baby and you're so hungry or so thirsty, it's very nice to be able just to have this right there and I won't have to worry about it, especially now that my kitchen is downstairs and I will be upstairs. But that is everything that I have purchased for postpartum. Please let me know if I'm forgetting anything, any of your must-haves. I would love to know. But thank you guys so much for watching and good luck to any of you mamas that are getting ready to have babies. You're going to do great. It is seriously such an amazing experience and I'm so excited to be doing it again. So again, thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you in my next one. Bye guys.